I was clean for nine years. I got rear-ended. I started to take them again, just as prescribed. And then about two years later, so we'll say 2015, is when I got back into it. In my head, I said, I'm not even gonna fight. I said, let's go, I'm ready. I'm sick of doing this. I don't wanna be this person anymore. I don't wanna look at somebody and my first thought is, how am I gonna beat them for money today to get what I need to get? I didn't wanna do that. So I came out, I never looked back. You, you know, I don't have those thoughts anymore. You know, like when I see somebody, it's a normal conversation. And I realized that I'm free now. I was the biggest manipulator in the world and that's just not me anymore. So my life now is the best way to describe it, it's freedom. It gives me freedom with my children. And the biggest is my wife. She deserved a better person, a better husband, a better father, and she got that. And I wanted to do it not only for myself, but for them, because they all deserve it. You have to want to do this. If you don't want to do it, it will never work. The people that think it's hopeless, they don't have faith in themselves. I thought it was hopeless too at one point. I said, there's no reason to ever get clean. There's, why would I want to get clean until I really wanted to? I think my message about about the stigma attached to opioid abuse. This isn't something, you know, they have to remember those people that this is a disease. Everybody makes mistakes and everybody should get a second chance.